I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make these. Aren't they beautiful? These are an artichoke spinach braid made with sheets of puff pastry, artichoke hearts, frozen spinach, and a creamy cheese filling that you're gonna love. Let's go see how this all comes together. We're gonna go over all of the ingredients for our artichoke and spinach braid. And this is kind of like if you took artichoke spinach dip and wrapped it up in a puff pastry shell and it was braided to look pretty and make it more delicious because when, you know, you eat first with your eyes. So what we have is one package of puff pastry, so there's two sheets here. And I like to let them sit out on my counter for about a half an hour before I use them. And I wrap them up in a piece of parchment and I dusted it with some, some flour just so that they won't stick to um, the paper. The other ingredients we're gonna be using, I have two cups of a blend of mozzarella and smoked provolone cheese. There's the hand. I have a 10 ounce package of frozen spinach that I thawed and squeezed all of the liquid or as much liquid as possible out of. So it's very, very dry. And I have um, a 14 ounce can of artichoke hearts that are just packed in water and it's kind of briny. So you wanna drain that and chop them up. And then I have a cup of freshly grated Parmesan and an eight ounce brick of cream cheese that has been softened at room temperature. And then we have some seasonings. I have a teaspoon each of onion powder, garlic powder, and dried basil. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and beat the cream cheese until it's light and fluffy. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in our seasonings. You can add whatever seasoning you prefer. This is entirely up to you. Our Parmesan cheese and our mozzarella and provolone. And you can just use plain mozzarella, you can use Swiss cheese, you can use Monterey Jack if you like. It's, not, it's up to you, your, your choice. We're gonna blend this together. And then we're gonna add our artichokes and our spinach. Just pop those on in there. And blend away. All right. And there is your filling. Let me just give this a stir. Now, if you were making like spinach and artichoke dip, you would probably add like mayonnaise or sour cream or both. But because we're making a braid, we don't want it to be that loose. We're not really making a dip, we're making a filling. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my puff pastry all ready. And I'll show you how we're gonna roll it out and cut it to make a braid. All right, I have taken one of my sheets of puff pastry. I left it on the parchment, which was a little bit floured, and I rolled it out just a little bit. I just gave it a little roll with my French pin, and I rolled it this way, and I rolled it this way, and that's only to um, to kind of stabilize it. And now I'm taking my my bench scraper, my bench knife, and I'm just doing little cuts all along the um, the length of both sides of the puff pastry. Now I've left the center part empty and that's how we're going to form our braid. Just do the best you can to kind of get it as even as possible. If you don't get it even, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. I've gone ahead and I have divided my filling up in half and we're going to just go ahead and place it down the center here of the solid portion of our piece of puff pastry. And then you're just gonna to wanna to even it out just like that. Now here's where the braid comes in. You're gonna take Whatever your dominant side is, my, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna start there. And we're just gonna pull over all the way to the other side. And then take the opposite and do the same. 
and then just do this all the way down and kind of overlap and you don't have to worry about this over here you can pinch it shut if you like just continue folding it and it looks like a braid and it's going to be absolutely beautiful when it's all done all right now i've gone ahead and i've completed the braiding part and then if you have any excess flour just kind of brush it off and now I'm going to go ahead and make a second one with that other sheet of puff pastry and then I'll come back and I'll show you what happens next. I got my second braid all done and on the pan and one of the reasons I like to put it on the parchment when I roll it out is so I can easily slide it onto my baking sheet. I am glazing this with an egg wash and this is just one whole egg that I have mixed and beaten together with a tablespoon of water or thereabouts, you know, this isn't, you don't have to be specifically accurate with this. Just throw some water and an egg together and beat it up. And then take your pastry brush and cover the entire top of the puff pastry braid. Well, you wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And now we're all ready. So I'm gonna pop these in a 400 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then when they're ready to come out, I'll show you what they look like. There you go. Those are our beautiful artichoke and spinach braids. Now I baked these in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. At the 25 minute mark, they didn't look quite done enough for me. And then when you, when you cook with puff pastry and you see like in these parts in between the braids where it looks a little bit light, you don't want that because that means that the puff pastry is still uncooked. So you don't want gummy puff pastry when all is said and done. You want this crispy and flaky and beautiful and perfect. So I gave it an extra five minutes. It got this beautiful golden brown gloss on it and I couldn't be happier. These have been cooling for about 20 25 minutes and I put them out on my pizza peel so we can just slice them up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these I'll cut them straight across and I'm using a serrated knife and look at that oh my goodness look at that oh so pretty do you want to taste it mm -hmm. <laughs> of course Okay, I'm going to cut a little piece here for you, and then we can just let you try it. See, look at it. It's beautiful and flaky and gorgeous. Ready? You tell me what you think. Is it hot? It's, mm, it's gooey and cheesy. Yum. Mmm. That is delicious. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Good mm. thing you made two, one for me. <laughs> you are gonna love this. This is a nice alternative. You can have this as a light lunch. This is also lovely on a brunch. Um, you could serve this next to some lightly scrambled eggs and it would be delicious. And it would be just something different than some toast or some rolls. So that is how you make a beautiful spinach and artichoke braid that is gonna wow your friends and you're gonna love it. It's absolutely delicious and I can't wait for you to try it. If you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, be sure and hit that red subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, always be sure and hit that red bell button so that you don't miss any of the notifications that YouTube likes to send out whenever we upload a new video. Because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give these artichoke and spinach braids a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.